start this video about what 40 minutes into driving. What do you all think so far? It's been beautiful. The forest has just been so pretty and green. I've been driving through woods this whole time so far. Yeah, so this has been nice. And then great. came out on the back side of this mountain that had a castle on it. And we're still about, what, about 30 minutes away. And we're going to Schonenberg where the Maginot line is and there's a museum there. It'll be fun. Don't know if we'll get a lot of video because it's going to be pretty dark in the tunnels. The GoPro doesn't really do that well in the dark light. It doesn't, just doesn't do well. But we'll see what we can get. Probably take some more videos from here on out. And uh, maybe even have something to eat. Oh yeah, you gotta have another schnitzel. Another schnitzel, even though we're going to France right now. Okay. Okay, great. That's what I ended up doing with a lot of stuff. I ended up just taking pictures and then having to read it later. Old draw gate. I'm hoping it's open. I keep seeing people walking back at us. No one's walking in. We'll figure it out in a minute. Alright, so quick history lesson. Tell me everything you know about this place. <laughs> it's here. It's in France. It relates to the battle of also known as World War One, which was what, a couple of decades prior to World War Two. We're going to do a recap, so when we leave, we'll, we'll do a what do we now know about it? I always thought it was like the 1910s World War One. So maybe this was more World War Two because it wasn't even built till the 30s. Yeah. It just happens to be on the imaginary line. I kept thinking it's an imaginary line. Yep. Even us southerners can understand each other. <laughs> but it's opening up in about 10 minutes. See you there. Here we go. Let gravity do the work of going downhill. How many steps, Dad? 130. 130 steps. 130 steps. I'll be getting my steps. We made it. To somewhere. Wow. It makes sense, though, with the rail system. Bigger 
wrenches over here. <laughs> oh, there's some big wrenches. Uh, big man. Power storage. Like giant capacitors. A bunch of different ones. After further reading, those weren't capacitors, those were air filters. Wow. To the, the top is gravel. And then from this floor up to floor one, there's two chambers. One you go up, and then the other is where the gravel needs to occupy that space. Um, there's standing water right there. Yes. That is amazing. One section there. Pretty cool. We have more tunnels? Yeah, we got more tunnels. talk about all the un the old subway systems under like New York City and stuff that are not in use anymore. Can we just walk from like New York over to Yeah jokes on you guys we're actually back in Germany already. We've walked not even a kilometer but it feels like we've been walking forever. Back here. 
we were all done. We found this last hallway that we didn't know we were supposed to do at the beginning, but that was fun. I guess I'll edit this video when I get back to the house. See you probably on our trip. Maybe one or two more clips, and then we'll be the end of this video. Talk to you later. Okay, so we thought we were heading out, but I noticed on the map when we were leaving that you could drive like two minutes, not even, to this little parking lot on a dirt road and get this view. We were just at like a hundred feet in the ground underneath these things like five, ten minutes ago. It was probably more than five, ten minutes ago because that was a long walk. I'm out of breath because I ran back to the car to get the camera. But we'll see you over here. Keep a look. called the diamond pit protects the embrasure. So it makes the most sense to have the, the big bends out here. And you can see a good distance away. The French Alps to the south. tells you what you're looking at. So that's block five, and that's block six, that's block three, block two farther out. Let's see, block one, block four is right here in front of us. And the entry to the port is in that direction. Man, this is cool. So, we're waking up this morning not knowing that this place is here. It's an hour and a half away from the house. It's pretty cool. Yeah, so this right here is where the big gun would come up. And on that cantilever that we saw down, there's the big white tower where it come up and it just pops up. And just wreak havoc on whatever was out here. See you on the next adventure. Bye.